Here all aspiring knights and squires, medieval times is now hiring. <laughs> You're like the sign did I, spinning. Did I person. sell it? Uh, <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, you did. You did good with that. I think I'm ready to uh, to join now. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks is live there this morning. See if you got the skills that you need to become a knight or uh, maybe a cook, Trisha, in the kitchen there. Let the tournament begin. Good morning, guys. But first, we're taking a look behind the scenes because there's so much that goes into this, a lot of talent, skill, and knowledge. You have to have the right expertise to join the team. Clearly, I'm not fit for the job. I just stepped on Queen Isabella's dress. She's joining us live to tell us more about what criteria it takes to work here. Indeed, welcome to the castle. Well, we are looking for passionate individuals to join our team here at Medieval Times. Right now, we are looking for kitchen staff specifically. We hire up to 32 of our servers, as well as six kitchen staff here at Medieval Times. And they'll get to work in our beautifully designed kitchens, meticulously designed to serve our needs of our serfs and wenches in order to serve all of the guests here at Medieval Times, up to 3,000 in a full day capacity. Wow, now the show is live. It's two hours. You're part of it. Indeed I am. I'm the host of the dinner and tournament here at Medieval Times. But there is so much more that goes in behind the scenes here. Our serfs and wenches, like our lovely angel right here, prepare your feast. We do have two options for the feast, which comes with your ticket price. Um, and the, the main feast is the chicken. We do have a, so a half of a roasted potato, a corn carbet, garlic bread, and tomato bisque. I mean dragon blood soup. <laughs> we do also have a lovely vegetarian option, including a three bean stew with fire roasted tomatoes, as well as a hummus plate. We do have two options for dessert as well, including a fruit plate and a frozen dessert. I've never been interested in dragon blood soup until now. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. In fact, we prepare it in these two 100 gallon vats. Absolutely beautiful. We keep all of our facilities incredibly clean. We do also have four large walk-in baker's ovens. We do also have auxiliary ovens for allergen foods. Um, we do accommodate all allergens as well as dietary restrictions here. So it definitely takes a lot. What is, I mean, on any given day to prep for a show with all the meals, this is a full plate. Indeed, yes, we have staff here around the clock preparing for our guests to arrive. So we do hope you'll come visit us soon. I hear you haven't been here yet. This is absolutely incredible. Just walking in, you can tell the show is about to begin. I want you to take a spin first. You got to check out this outfit. This is un. Believable Queen Elizabeth uh, woke up early, of course, but I'm sure she has this down. Absolutely gorgeous. How about this? Look at that. All of it. All of it. I don't even know what to point out first. My mouth is watering, guys. Yeah. What would you take a bite of first? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to dive into the half chicken. Yeah. You got to go straight there first. Yeah. My only request is a turkey oh, yeah. leg. I wish <laughs> they would add a turkey leg for dessert. Is dragon blood keto? That's a good question. That's an interesting idea. It's definitely gluten free. Yes, that's that's true. Yeah. It just depends on what the dragon eats. Uh, Trisha, you don't want to know what the punishment for stepping on a queen's dress is, uh, but I'm, just get out of there. Okay, you, like you might want to run if you can. <laughs> I know. I've seen Game of Thrones. I'm so sorry I stepped on your dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morrow to you. We can't wait to check back in with you. Oh my gosh. 